Hello folks, Desert X 2023. This is the fourth edition of this fantastic presentation. So for this time, magnificent artists bring their artwork through the desert. And this is the video that I made with this artwork. And I hope you guys enjoy what you're going to see it because it is really interesting. So stay with me. I'm your host, Daniel. And uh, let's take a look in this adventure. Raina Began is a British Bangladeshi artist whose work blues boundaries between painting, sculpture, design, and architecture. In a chain link fence, as a pattern is spread across the Coachella Valley, a material that is meant to protect, but also carries associations of violence. The artist diffuses the material's role as a divider through her manipulation of its form and color. It's worth it to notice how light and air, sand and water, as well people, can filter through her cloud-like pavilion, which offers paths of expensive escape rather than reductive confinement. Constantly changing with the movement of the sun and the visitors inside of it, the work emphasizes that nothing in life is static. Paloma Contreras Lomas brings to sunny islands in Rancho Mirage, a strange dated car. Strange characters accompany the visitor on a caricature of a Western meat sci-fi audiovisual tour of the landscape, like a fictional tour of the seemingly familiar world outside, guided by aliens and ghosts. This artist exercises a playful sense of lightness to draw the viewer in the heavy issues they are rarely addressed in Mexican society. Plush long hands armed with soft stuffed guns hang from the windows of the car in a camouflage by the artificial overgrowth invading the sculpture. Turkuawase Dyson brings liquid a place as a part of an ongoing series that started from the premise that we are the water in the room, inviting the viewers to consider their bodily interconnection with rivers and oceans that surround us. After all, around 60% of our bodies and 70% of the planet is water, and these waters circulate across our bodies and the planet as they shift the states from solid to liquid to gas. Dyson creates a monumental sculpture that is a poetic meditation connecting the memory of water in the body and the memory of the water in the desert. And of course, I do associate this with the monolith from the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey by Stanley Kubrick. Okay, this installation is quite interesting for the notion of the cowboy. And that's where artist Mario Garcia Torres searching for the sky while maintaining equilibrium try to convey here. The artist try to represent the culture of the cowboys, very common in the USA and Mexico. They also, he trying to convey the idea of the macho trying to dominate the landscape. Imagine this as electronic bowls, and supposed to be on top of that, a cowboy trying to be dominating the bowl and controlling. What happens in the desert is a little different. You can control the weather, you can control the harsh conditions, and the cowboy eventually will fail and fall. Shabalala Self's work is concerned with the iconography significance of the black female body in contemporary culture. 
Her work explores the emotional, physical, and psychological impact of the black female body as an icon and is primarily devoted to examining the intersectionality of race, gender, and sexuality. The desert often references both the beginning and the end. The sculpture Pioneer similarly represents the lost, expelled, and forgotten indigenous, native, and African women whose bodies and labors allowed the American expansion and growth. One of a kind, that's what I think about Hylozoic Desires, or HD, that compromises a fantastic interpretation of sounds in the middle of the desert. HD uses metaphors from outer space and the natural environment to construct imaginary cosmologies of interferences, deep voids, debris, delays, alienation, distance, and intimacy. In this case, the visitors are invited to join HD in thinking through ecological loss and the loss of home, seeking shelter somewhere in the radicality of love in that immersive audio-visual environment. As you push the buzzer at the bottom of this post, you are able to hear Indians singing rituals, paces like dancing, and a strange voice talking to your subconscious in the middle of the desert. I enjoyed this experience very much, very, very unique. And here one of the best from this Desert X. A sleeping figure might be a cubist rendition of a classical odalisque, except here the cubes are shipping containers belonging to the globalized movement of goods and trade. Matt Johnson's figure he speaks to the crumples and breaks of a supply chain economy in distress. Situated along the main artery connecting the port of Los Angeles to the inland United States, the sculpture gains local relevance from the recently approved sighting of distribution centers in north of Palm Springs and Desert Hot Springs. Casual and laconic, it overlooks the landscape reminding us that the invisible hand of globalism now connected to its container body has come to rest in the Coachella Valley. This is a tribute and also a sad note on this Desert X. Born and raised in Sacramento, California, Tyred Nichols photographed landscapes, sunsets, monuments, and the architectural vernaculars of his adopted town of Memphis, Tennessee. On January 7, 2023, Mr. Nichols was beaten by Memphis police officers for about three minutes on the evening of that day. After he was stopped, what the police initially said was reckless driving. His work, now celebrated as part of Desert X, represents not just a vision that was brutally denied the opportunity, but the potential of all those individuals whose lives has been lost to the state-sanctioned violence of institutional racism. Gerald Clark is an artist, university professor, cowboy, and Kauia tribal leader. His artistic output resonates with histories of assemblage, pop, and conceptual art produced by native and non-native artists. Catalyzing active learning, the maze-like structure that he created for this desert acts invites visitors to walk on it and move according to instructions driving a game of cards, rewarding the player with new ways of viewing and understanding the landscape. Don't forget to visit desertx.org that you can see even more details about all this that I show in this video plus more. 
There are certain installations and certain presentations I was not able to attend as part of this edition of Desert X. I invite you to go there and take a look and you will learn in more details even more about the artist and about the art that they are presenting here. The next edition of Desert X will be in 2025 and I hope to be here to show you guys even more because I just love it. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, I recommend it to a friend. I do appreciate if you can leave your likes in there. It's very important for the channel and I can always can bring new content. Meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.